Today I'm going to show you how to create a soft glam look, perfect for mature eyes. We're going to start off by prepping with a little bit of concealer. I'd recommend using concealer mixed with an eyeshadow primer as some eyeshadow primers can be quite drying on mature lids, but prepping the lids in this way will give the eyeshadow something to hold on to while creating a blank canvas for us to work on. I've chosen these four eyeshadows to create this look, and I'll talk you through each one that you need. The first one is at least one shade lighter than the skin tone, and this will be used as our highlighter or our base. We then have a contour shade, which should be at least one shade darker than the skin tone. Then we have our mid-tone or transition shade. This should be somewhere in between our contour and our highlight. And then we have our fourth shade, which is a highlighter. This can have a little bit of shimmer to it and should be about one shade lighter than the skin tone. These are just four single shadows, but there's lots of different palettes that have this variety, so you can definitely recreate it. As far as brushes go, you're going to need a blending brush, a flat brush, a clean blending brush, which I'll explain a little bit later, and also a smaller brush, just for any detailed work. We're going to start off with the blending brush and our mid-tone. We're going to apply this in the crease of the eye, stopping underneath the brows. Now for mature lids or hooded eyes, you want to make sure that you really work your mid-tone into that hooded area. This will help to camouflage it, recede it, and create a soft, blurry finish. If you're working on yourself, try keeping your eyes open. This will allow you to see the shape that you're creating. You really just want to focus on this area just above the lid. This will help to recede any hoodedness and soften that look. We're then going to take the smaller brush and we're going to take the contour shade. We're going to work this on the outer edge of the eye and deep into the socket. You want to keep this nice and low. Your mid-tone is always higher than your contour. So keep it underneath this line, working on the outer edge of the lid. You also want to make sure you're keeping within the lines. Don't worry if you've gone outside them because you can always clean it up afterwards. But using the edge of the nose, eye, and brow as a guide, you want to blend in from this point. This will just make sure you get that nice, soft, lifted appearance. We're then going to take the clean blending brush. What we're going to do is blend over everything that we've already applied. This will soften out any harsh lines. And you're not going to apply any eyeshadows with this. You're just blending with whatever's already there. By using a clean blending brush, you're going to stop that muddy appearance that can happen. Try holding the brush really far down the handle and just softly sweep over everything. We're then going to take the flat brush and we're going to take the highlighter shade and apply this on the inner corner of the eye and softly sweep it to about the halfway point of the lid. Try to keep this nice and low. You don't want to touch the crease with this. Everything else on the lid is kept quite matte and this is just to add a little bit of shine. Sticking with that same flat brush, we're also going to take the matte shade and we're going to apply this underneath the brows. This will just add a little bit of definition and you can also apply it over the top of the highlight to soften any of that really harsh highlighted effect. This will give you that really blurry effect which is perfect for mature lids. I then finish off by cleaning up on the outer edge of the eye with concealer. This will give a lifted appearance. 